Aya. <laughs> Google guests. Come with you. Invite the world over. We invite the world over for tea, mm. and you're there on your phone. It's like our first video in I'm like two so, weeks. So so sorry. And I'm just quite looking at this. Just looking at the questions and how good it's gonna be. It's gonna be a good one, guys. Yeah. Oh, hello. Anyway, here we go. We're doing a tag that was sent to us. You know who you are. This is for you. And uh, yeah, we haven't done a video in a while. Sorry. Are you gonna apologise? I am so sorry. Oh my my car broke. So I had no way to get here at all. It's so sad. I think this looks Thank you. We love it. Thank you. If you, yeah, yeah. Do, do bunnies have paws? If you own a bunny farm, imagine that. Yes. Imagine that job. A bunny farm. It'd be amazing. Amazing. Okay. So this tag, what is it? I don't know. It's just talking about hitting guys in the balls. Yeah. Shall we call it the ball tag? Ball tag. Ball tag. Okay. Question one. Have you ever kicked a guy in the nuts? If so, how many times and why? If not, have you ever wanted to? I've both. I wanted to and have. I was cave fighting with my stepbrother and I just kicked him right in the balls. He cried. And that's when we really that story. Pretty good story. Pretty good. We were just play fighting in the hallway. We were getting ready for bed. Play fighting. Boom. Did it. He was not a happy for me. It was pretty hard as I well. I like the reference. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sock reference. And I have one need to kick somebody in the ball as well. He should not be named. Mm -hmm. Same here. I think we were both at that point where we spoke about he who shall not be named, and we both saw him. We thought he needs it. <laughs> he needs I, I, it I where the sun don't shine. I wanted it today, to be honest. Hmm. Everything. It's just it just brings it out on me. Mm -hmm. I haven't hit a guy in the nuts before. I want. You should. I want. It's good. It's fun. Number two. When was the last time you kicked a guy in the balls, if you have done it? Age and why? I just so said if you that. haven't done it before, when was the last time you saw a girl kick guy's balls? What was his reaction? Um, I've seen a girl hit a guy in the balls and he's fell over and was in the fetal position fetal for about position. five minutes. They do that all the time. Is this one? Right there, like, yeah. And they've got a hand down there and everything. It's like, Funny. dude. Funny. Get over it. We oh, have oh. that internally for like five days. Get over yourself. Liz. I don't think it's quite the same. I think it probably hurts a lot more than that. It depends on the period, to be honest. Well, my sister will be on, like in bed for I a day. Get any. I don't. I might, might get like a little bit of on the first day. Like, a little bit of a tinge, but that's about it. My mum and my sister, though, get like massive ones. And they always hate me because I don't care. Yeah, your mum spoke to me about that. <laughs> Interesting conversation with your mum there. When you weren't even there. Yeah. What? Number three. Why do you think girls find it funny to see a guy get kicked in the balls? I'll tell you why. It's because they're so egotistical most of the time. It's nice to see them fall down for once. Mm -hmm. That sounds so I mean. don't think it falls for every guy. No, some guys But most guys them. are like so up themselves and believe, oh I can get every girl and ever. That, and it's also like men are pictured as being really like strong and it's like it's just it's one like what you don't expect to happen happens. Mm. It's nice. It's like, oh I'm so strong. Really? Dish! Yeah. You ain't strong no more, and sir. Even some people do you, you tell them that you wouldn't do that to them. And they're like, nah, I'll be alright. Yeah, well then. No. You would be on the floor every time. And this happened today actually. He was like, no, I wouldn't. I was like, mm, yeah, you would. You would. Yeah. You ain't even that strong. Do you even lift, bro? Yeah, chalk cheese. <laughs> when did you first find out a guy's balls were his weak spot and how did you find out? I have no idea. I had a brother, so probably when I was a little kid. And I probably was, he was crying like a mother. I think I must have been like year eight, year eight. Let's go with that. Year eight. Sorry if any Americans are watching this. I don't know what grade that is. That is like, I'm just saying what age it is. That's like 13, isn't it? 12, 13. Yeah. 12, 13 years old. There you go. I want to guess grade systems. I don't know the grade system. Me neither. <laughs> Do you think guys are really weak for having balls? No. Do you think girls could easily dominate guys? How would you dominate a guy? 
Easy. That's smart enough. Yeah. Just use our brains. We don't even have to get physical. Just need brain power. You just outsmart them. Yeah. By the way, you should download the app Fling. It's amazing. There will be a link in the description below to get the app. There will be. Because I, I, mean, I got it yesterday and I'm just on it all the time. It's brilliant. It's like Snapchat. But better. But we'll, we'll beat we'll be guys mentally. We don't need that physical shizzle. Yeah. Because everybody knows that girls have to come in education. They do just do. saying. This, this, we this, have this, evidence this. of that. We do sociology. Yeah. We know that subject. Girls outperform guys and everything, even the sciences. It's just few mm -hmm. girls do sciences, but the ones that do still do them. Yeah. So. Girl power. The guys are cool too sometimes. But girl power. Girl power. Nice girls. Yeah. Do you think getting hit in the balls hurts more than getting hit in the tits? What about balls versus childbirth? Okay. L let childbirth me get. Childbirth is different for everybody. Let, let me get this out here. Childbirth, I read it up, is like having every bone in your body broken. That's how much pain receptors are given. They, really? Yeah, they've actually done it. Oh my god. They actually did the study. I can't remember where I saw it. I'm never having a child. But it was like a certain amount of pain receptors were given, like if you've sprained your arm or if you got kicked in the balls or something like that. And it's like if every bone in your body was broken, that would be the same res pain receptors as giving childbirth. Having a bubba. Having a bubba. So that can't even compete to being kicked in the balls. Plus, but it's longer. You are on drugs when you give birth. Depending if you want them. Well, if you don't have them, that's you, your problem, isn't it, really? Well, it depends, really, because you might be at home. So you can't have the drugs. I wouldn't personally have a child at home. Especially, well, maybe if you were in America, you might. I can't, I knew. Because so born in the toilet. Healthcare and America and yeah. it's more expensive. Whereas here it's free to go to the NHS. Oh, and in Canada, it's free of some places. Yeah. Not all places, but Canada, you will. So, which one has I more balls Canada. or tits? Tits are that much. Yeah. I it's just a question. Saying. It depends on how big your tits are and if it's that time, time of the month or if they're growing. But most of the time, no. It's all dependable. If you could pick the funniest way to hit a guy there, would you kick, knee, tap, Punch, slam, stomp, or squeeze. Why? Oh, what is your I strongest way? I don't want to squeeze. I don't want to touch him. <laughs> it's like, no. It's like, he might get the wrong idea, and then his little buddies get a bit friendly. Oh, so you're just like, no. I think, the, for me, the funniest thing would be getting a little kid to do it. Getting a little kid run up to a guy and just go, eh. It's funny because little kids don't really understand it, and little kids are brilliant when they injure their parents. Like when they run, yeah. when they run into them like that, yeah. that is so funny. Or dogs, dogs do. <gasps> Charlie could do it if Charlie did it to a guy. Oh my god, I would love him. <laughs> but if I was doing it on my own, I'd knee because knees are quite hard, aren't they? Yeah, I think legs is my strongest point. Knee. Legs compared to my arms. Knee, you're right there. You're Definitely funny. a stronger point. I would never do it to a guy that was nice though. No, no, ever. Just to hear you shall not be it's, it's the last straw, really. You wouldn't want to do it otherwise, because that's me. Could you demonstrate as well? Not on the guy, though. Just the action. <laughs> Boom! There you go. Yeah. <laughs> if you could pick the funniest object to use to hit a guy there, what would you use and why? Any object like baseball, golf clubs, etc. I would want to use a... Baseball. Bowling ball. <laughs> Bowling ball? <laughs> no, it depends on the person. Rounders ball. Yeah, it's just thinking like <laughs> rounders ball or baseball because they're like proper solid. I was thinking torch. But like the Minecraft torch. What are those? <laughs> oh, look at the corners. <laughs> <laughs> really heavy duty, big fuck off torches that are metal. Well, it still depends on the person though. You don't want to like make them infertile. You want to just One person you would. We don't want that person to breed. No, that would be the worst date ever. Is that ethically moral for us to decide that for him? Mm. Yes. Philosophy. I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough, whatever. Mm. What was the best or funniest reaction you've seen after watching a guy get kicked in the balls? I've not seen enough guys being kicked in the balls. So it's, it's really not a common thing. It's not. I don't know if it is in America or other places, but in England, we just insult people. And use sarcasm. And throw tea at them. 
just there lobbing tea bags at people. And we pretend to be friends with people, but say things that are mean. Yeah. We British people are very big backstabbers. You'd be surprised yeah. what I've yeah. heard about people, and then when they show up, they they're like different. best friends. Yeah. yeah. It's like I could say about Ellie, oh, she's such a so and so, and then I go, hey, Ellie, how are you doing? That I would never. Really well rehearsed. Never have you been do doing that. that? No. You've been doing it, haven't you? I would never do that to you. <laughs> I don't want to find she out knows. this way. She knows I would never do that to her. Because <laughs> there's nothing bad about her. Look at her. Well, she's beautiful. I'm a bit of a bitch sometimes. Beautiful. But only people that deserve it. Exactly. Me being mean to people that are mean is just karma. It's God's way mm -hmm. of making me mean to them for a reason. She's better at it. I'm very good at it. You don't want to get on my bad side. I'm a great friend. But, but it's okay because you guys are on a good side. You guys seem nice. <laughs> you guys seem nice so far. <laughs> I like you nice. guys. What's your favourite threat or warning to use on a guy when you are thinking about kicking him in the balls? This is the best Especially thing ever. Especially if you would have a small penis. A small baby. Although those that you would guess do, because we don't see them, we just assume. Yeah. We don't go around like pulling guys' boxes. <laughs> some some people look would... like, hey there, you're a little uh. <laughs> some people you just assume that they do because yeah. of the way they behave. Usually, if a guy's got a really big ego, he's got a. This is Leon the lion. I think Leon is lion in French. Might be. I just wanted to go. That went weird quite suddenly. <laughs> but sugar. If a random guy doing YouTube videos bet you can knock him to the floor with one kick, would you do it? And how hard? I would. Depends on the guy. If it's a bet, I would full out do it. If they said you can do it, I'd be like. You want me? <laughs> you want me? Come at me! Ooh. It depends on the guy again. Because if Joe Sugg said that, I'd like, I can't do that to you. No, I would. <laughs> if Joe Sugg came up to me, or any like legit YouTuber, or any guy on YouTube came up to me and said, I bet you could do it, I'd be like, I'm sure you bring it on. I don't care who you are. If you bet me I can't do it, I will show you that I can. Because all I do is win, 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 no matter what. Rant done. <laughs> She's very, she's very, um, what's the word? Something. Argumentative? I am quite argumentative. Um, enthusiastic. That's hey. the word. She's enthusiastic about this topic. Next question. If you had to kick a guy there, mm -hmm. opposed to other methods, mm -hmm. what type of shoe do you think hurt him the most? Stiletto. Um, I think Ew. steel toe cat boots would hurt quite a bit. Tap shoes. Tap shoes, steel toe caps, and can I just say, I am there. Yeah. And we're the same size. Yes. So she can borrow them. I can borrow them. <laughs> That's no threat, I promise. Don't sell them. What are the names for well, kicking the balls? Like kick his nuts, crush his eggs, etc. That's it. That's all I know. I've never heard of anyone. I don't see how you can do anything else. Scramble his eggs? I don't know. So guys don't have eggs. Girls have eggs. This is perplexing to me because he's a piece of sink. I just keep him. Just kicking him in the balls. Or testicles. Testicles, genitalia, that kind Kick of thing. Kick where it hurts. Mm -hmm. They say that. Yeah. That's a thing. What is your definition of ball busting? Do you think it's weird? What are your thoughts on this topic? I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I've never heard that it's before. It's probably like a weird American thing. I've never heard it before. So I don't think I can put it. I know that some people put girls uh, named as ball busters like when they're in a the relationship, like when they really demanded on the guy and they're ball busters. So maybe like. They I've heard they, bunny boilers. They get rid of their masculinity. So if a guy's whipped? Yeah. In that sense. Then the girl's a ball buster. I think. I agree. Oh. <laughs> this topic is unusual to me. Balls. <laughs> balls. <laughs> I don't know anything balls. That's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> I mean like any... Charlie owns a lot of balls. Oh. He likes balls. I have this is what I have. That's vaguely a ball. It's a ball. Uh -huh. It's a prayer. This is what I'll do. Don't let her know. <laughs> that was really scary. Sorry. That was you very scary. Edit that out. That's that's staying in. <laughs> <laughs> if a guy approached you asking to be ball busted, would you do it and how hard? 
what would your know, reaction be? Because clearly my definition Why would of what it that? was was wrong and I don't think I want to do it. No. And why why would a guy want that? Why would he go up to me? Hey, can you pull to me? Nobody would do why that! Why would it to my first pain fetish? I'd run away. Somebody would do that. But no, you can, no, go away. Hey, hey, everyone can have their own thing, but I don't want to be involved. One last question. This one. This is tense. Ready? Ready? Drum roll. What would be a situation when you would definitely keep going in that? Would you go as far as castration? Oh no. Castration. No. I don't think any guy deserves that. No. I would. If a guy was. Maybe if a guy cheated on me, I would. Maybe he'd use it less if it hurt. I think. If a guy cheated on us, I think. Opposite people would do it. So it's like you would get him if he was dating me, and I'd get him if he was dating me. We've got each other backs like this. Look at it. I've got her back like this. That's a bit weird. I'm sorry. I hate the station. We've had so much fun, bitch. Okay. Oh my god. That was the ball tag. We tag you guys in it. We want to see your videos and your comments about this. If you want to answer the questions? Answer them down below. Links are all down below. This has yeah. been a great time. Have a beautiful night. Have a nice time. Hashtag John Sunday. Do it. Join us on Twitter. Yeah, at the John Repair. Because we're cool. And we know. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're Let's just go gonna go. keep dancing. Yes. <laughs> There's my feet. <laughs> my stomach. Please shut up. We just had a lot of food. We went to the harvester. So much food. We got the harvester. And it was cheap as well. It was like £33, which was brought down to £24 pounds because of vouchers. So much food. So, so much food. The starters are amazing. They were. They oh were. my god. They were really good. We got like cheesy bites. three for ten pounds. Pop bits. Yeah, they were like they mozzarella so with jalapenos. And we're good. coming off course. <laughs> mm. Food, food is such a distraction. We should, we should do a cooking show at some point. We should do a cooking. Yeah, lesson. you can cook it and I'll eat it. Yeah, but you can cook it as well. Could try. We could have a competition. Ah, oh, bake off. A bake off. Yeah. Are you sure you want to do that with me? I have written that down as a list of things we should do. I know, I've seen it. Yeah. It's a good list. <laughs>